We just got a tour of the RP8000 MK2, and the one thing that we hear from a lot of skeptical DJs on the internet is quality is not a feature. You can't see it, it's not a knob, it's not a button. So I'm here in front of DMC champ Chris Carnes. Uh, just to ask your opinion, you could ha be using any turntable on the market. Obviously, there's the big one we all know. That one's proven, it's, it's tried and true. But for people at home that are asking, what is the quality like on a reloop turntable, whether that be RP8000 uh, or the RP7000, the, the one be below it, what is the quality like on a, on a reloop turntable? Well, first of all, I'm going to say this. Every DJ in the world has dealt with a broken Technics 1200. Let's just be real. I've shown up to so many clubs, telling our broken. And so, I mean, nothing is indestructible. I'm going to start there. But I switched over to using the Reloops about, uh, I'd say, three years ago. Working with a band called Pretty Lights. And we do headlining sets, like major festivals, massive stages, huge subs. That was the problem for me, or the deal breaker for me, is that when we were using 1200s, I couldn't get, I couldn't cue anything because of the basic feedback coming through. And we had like stuff under the table legs, we had vibration dampening foam underneath the turntables as well. Nothing was working. So I brought up the reloops, flawless from the get go. We stopped using the vibration dampening, still flawless. We literally had one set of 12 reloop turntables that we used for almost four years with the band. Never had an issue with them ever. It was like, that was the one thing that I didn't have to worry about on the show. It was the turntable. Once I switched over to reloop, before that, it was just this constant battle of like, ah, the connection, and like, oh my god, the vibration, and like all this other stuff. So my personal experience with it is that I've had nothing but you know, good experiences as far as like nothing is broken by me or anything like that. And uh, whenever I do like local shows in Denver, I live in Denver, I bring my, my turntables out. So I don't even want to use uh, techniques. I just don't want to use them personally. I will if I have to, but to me, these are hands down like, far superior to the tables that I've this is the person two years ago that got me to take these really tur turntables seriously. Uh, I've been trying to spread the message as well, but I think for you people at home who are saying, hey, you guys are selling the gear, hey, they're manufacturing the gear, this is a DMC champ, he can use absolutely any turntable he wants on the market, uh, new or old, and you heard it from the man himself.